Hey, welcome back to part two. Woohoo. So, uh, we left off with the, um, sinking. Play it one more time. Even though you've probably seen it a lot. So, now that you've got that, you've got your clip here and your cinematic here. Um, now we're gonna add some paint and crop. <coughs> you may use this effect onto yours and use the pan and crop with the scaling on this but I don't do that I don't know why I just don't I don't like it it's easier to use it down in this area than up in this area so and I know you can drop it down and do it in this area but I don't know I just like regular scaling better so what we want to do is hold shift and click s for scale so you get only scale so let's in the beginning when it comes in when the clip comes in we want it to kind of boom in so I usually put it at 300 and then this is the shot and I make the shot about 160 so when we got 160 we we've got like 300 to 160 right here keyframe so let's sort of pull it in a little bit uh, oh that's good news right there alright trial for wreck that's actually pretty cool I just I just figured that out so um yeah let's get back to this so we've got in the graph editor of course we're gonna make it smooth and we don't want this little little um See how ugly that looks. Yes. So, um, graph editor. I highlight the whole entire thing. Click easy E. So they all easy E's. I pull. Um, I pull forward down to here. Keep these two because they're 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 fine how they are. And I pull this one down to here. So now I've got. So I've got like that little bouncy action. So then, right after that, I want to pull it out till about here. Make it a hundred. Then go back here again. And then go one sixty, back to one sixty. So uh, hold up. Alright, so, after that, okay, so, um, so you've got that, so it comes in, boom, first shot, comes out, boom, second shot, so, we still got a graph editor these ones, we want to make them just how they were before, so bring them down, and keep those two, and bring this one down, so now, we've got... And then see how it goes. And then I see how there's two extra more beats right here, so we will do that too. I think it goes like that. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm just, alright, uh, trial, okay, so, um, that's good news, so, back to this, I'm sorry, guys, um, so, we want to go to this one, and we're gonna make it smaller, since it's a side beat, 125, so, we want to 125 that, and, So, um, and then in the middle, put 
100. Whoops, not 10, 100. So we've got boom, boom. Then make another 100 in the middle of it. And then put it back up to 125. And then when I go about uh, here, make it 100 to the end. And then at the end, put it all the way back up to 300. Now, bunch of more graph editor stuff. So just keep doing the same stuff I told you. If it's off a of whack, just fix it because it was for me. All right. There we go. I'm gonna have to end this one short today because I have to talk to this guy. Um. So yeah, you see that now. Um, let me check how much time I have left so I can do the last cinematic. Come on. Alright, I've got plenty of time. So now I want to... Oh yes. Very important. Very look, Make sure edits look 10 times better. Motion blur. What you want to do? Click this button. That's motion blur button. And then see how it's the same thing right here? So you're just going to click it on that one and that one so it puts it on it. So yeah, let's get into this. Control S, make it 300, 300. So uh, go all the way here, maybe like about there. 100 and then back up to 300 we want to highlight it all easy ease pull it down pull it down yes looks really nice so I will show you the rotation now so now, hold Control S to get rid of the scale. Actually, no, don't get rid of it. And then hold Control and press R for rotation. And then for the rotation, I'll just keep it at zero. No, I'll I'll put it at four. Put it at four. Four, all the way out. And when it goes to one hundred, put it at zero. And then when it gets to here, put it at negative four. Just keep doing that. So on the 100 keyframes, it's 0. And it's going to be every other one. Like every other 4. Like negative 4, 4, negative 4, 4. So. What is this? 4. Alright. 0. 4. Zero, negative four. I may have messed up. I wasn't really paying attention. So yeah, you get the point. Um, yes. Uh, see so yeah, how you can see the black edges. Just add some um, add some black bars when you're finished your edit. Makes it look one hundred percent cleaner. Professional, more professional. Yes. Yeah, so, um, thanks for watching, guys. I I've got to go, running short on time, and uh, hope you guys. I hope this helped you out. I'm sorry I was in such a rush to 